Johnson Salif says such legal provisions not only facilitate the integration of women in the economy, but it equally bring girls and women on par with boys in seeking opportunities such as jobs, health and education. She was the first African woman president of the UN General Assembly. But please, there's not been another one. That's our challenge as women, is to bring to the consciousness of the United Nations that since she became the president of Women's General Assembly in 1954, it's not another woman. The former Liberian leader says although some barriers such as child marriages are still predominant in many African states, it is worthwhile to know the success Thank of you, gender parity in the region. Honourable she who was also awarded the lucrative Mo Ibrahim Award a year ago equally noted that the Swapo Party 50-50 gender representation policy was a commendable move. On his part, Speaker of Parliament Peter Kashavivi said women lawmakers enrich policy debates, which in turn advances the livelihoods of women and children in rural areas. There are currently 47 women in the National Assembly out of 106 members, as well as 10 women out of 42 members in the National Council. Generally, women consider themselves to be closer to the grassroots and therefore, to a larger extent, female parliamentarians tend to enrich policy debates with a greater sense of attachment to matters that they feel will add greater value to livelihood, especially when it comes to uh, women and children. During her interaction with MPs, female parliamentarians highlighted issues facing women in Namibia, such as poor access to post-birth health care, teenage pregnancy, poverty, as well as sexual abuse. Kaipa Herwekanji, NBC News, Windhoek.